Hi, hi, and welcome to Strap Watch. I'm Michael Knapp, Michael Knapp Leather. Well, happy 4th of July. Well, it is at least for me today. I don't know what day you're gonna be watching this, but I'm filming this uh, intro right here on Saturday, July 4th, 2020. So happy Independence Day to all the American patriots who are around the world. I love the 4th of July, always have. So I told you last week, I had a special project, a leather build this week to show you guys. And that's what you're gonna see me hand make on today's show. I just got done with this. It's an alligator bifold wallet in midnight blue with shell cordovan, Shinky Haikaku shell cordovan interior, colonial tan hand saddle stitching throughout, three pocket, turned out absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna share the backstory on the watch in the second half of the gentleman who, who bought this, because he also bought a strap first, and he was getting this to match that strap for this watch we're gonna also highlight on today's show. Because I had another gentleman named George a few months ago, I made a strap for his watch, same thing, only had a black dial. And this gentleman, of course, he has a blue dial, so that's why we're matching the dial. So I've got some announcements also in the second half I'm gonna share with you guys, pretty cool stuff. So stick around after the intro, we'll get right into it. Thank you so much for joining me today on Strap a Watch. And so for the first announcement, as you're seeing, I'm Google Earthing down on Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, part of the Outer Banks in North Carolina. And the reason I'm showing this is I'm taking next weekend off. My wife and I are going on a vacation. And I'll tell you, I mean, I had the vision for the show. I, I shared about it in last week's episode. If you haven't seen last week's episode, I'll leave a link right here for it. Please watch that, and then you would know I haven't had a really day off in a year. So this is Clay's watch. The gentleman's name is Clay from Louisiana, and he had ordered this. This is the strap I made on his watch. He finally got it. This is the strap that the mail had lost for a while. And this is the one that I made for George uh, several months ago, three, four months ago. Same watch, but as you can see, it has the black dial. So he ordered a black alligator, and he too didn't know what stitching color to get. At first he thought he'd get red, and I'm like, there's no red on this watch at all. That would not be appropriate, really. I mean, he could. So 8800 caliber, that's the movement with inside. And you can see I'm just showing uh, a little bit of statistics on the watch. And here's George's watch. So you can see it's, it's, it's not a cheap watch. This is a higher-end watch. So here is where I was saying in the intro, I had already cut the alligator and the Shinky Haikaku out. And what I had done was run it through my splitter. Okay. And so here's the splitter. You can see that. I had already run it through there, and so that way I can use the split on the alligator inside of the alligator as a lining. And there's Shinky Haikaku, and I gotta tell you guys what. Forever, I've always thought Horween Shell Cordovan, and I just got a shipment in of every color that they have. Every chip of uh, Horween Shell Cordovan, I have each color. I believe. Now, after working with both up close, the Shinky Haikaku is a better quality. And it was actually, it's more expensive. And I'm just so impressed. And the reason I ended up going with this, I contacted Clay actually yesterday. He and I have gotten to know each other pretty well over the last month. I mean, we've been texting each other and calling each other all the time lately. And But the reason I, I changed out was because uh, he, he had ordered it with Horween. And it just didn't match the color of the blue on the alligator that how it came out the more royal midnight blue color that deep dark blue and so the the, the shinky haikaku did and that's why i decided um and i told him 
to go with the Shinki Haikaku instead of the, the Horween Shell Cordovan. And I'm going to be buying more of this Shinki Haikaku. i got to tell you what. So this is Tokenol. Everybody knows who's been watching my channel for a while. It's my favorite product. I used to put it on the backing or the flesh side of uh, leather goods, all, you know, all my wallets and stuff like that that would go out. And it just it protects the leather, and it also makes it nice and slick and shiny. And especially like, you know, you're putting cards in a wallet on the flesh side of leather. It's very fuzzy. It all depends on how it's tan, if it's been split, what have you. And this is the Shinki Haikaku chip right here. So it's this deep, intense blue Shinki Haikaku chip of Shell Cordova. That chip, I just checked the price that I had paid, was $254 for that, which was more than the, the blue that I paid through Horween for sure. So I'm cutting out the card slots for the wallet right here that's what you're seeing me doing and as you can see making a wallet takes up a lot of leather and there's a lot of actual waste product of leather so that's kind of what happens and why i always go "Ooh, guy wants to order a wallet and he just doesn't understand how much leather goes into a wallet and how much i have to charge so you know this like i was saying is is uh, a pretty expensive wallet and if you're looking at getting something like this yeah it's 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 not cheap if you can't afford i understand there's other leathers that you could get but I, honestly guys i'm trying to just stay within the niche of the watch straps okay i that's why i don't have wallets for sale on my website anymore i used to have so many different leather goods on my website oh my gosh all kinds of wallets, bifold wallets, trifold wallets, passport wallets, checkbook wallets, minimalist wallets, you know, iPad cases and laptop cases and cell phone cases. And of course, I was known for my placemats. I showed that also in last, last week's episode. And here I'm applying the token all onto the inside of the card slots. And you have to wipe off um, and scratch where you're going to end up gluing. Otherwise, the tokenol really will prohibit it from adhering very well. Here's my regad machine. This is the second time I've showcased this on the channel. And this is what I have always normally done on the card slots. And it just creates a nice burnished edge. It actually is a heating element on, on the edge right there. And it gives a little bit of a, an accent to the, the card slot. And it also burnishes it and protects that top of the the card slot so when you're moving cards in and out it's just more protected that way and here i'm cutting out the sizing so that i'm going to be gluing these all together here shortly and it's just kind of getting everything more to size so clay this fella that ordered this really cool guy like i said we've been texting each other every day he has a alligator outer wallet right now with a leather interior he says it's about 10 years old and it's it's getting old and he, that's why he wanted to get a new one and he sent me some pictures and then he told me the size and i'm like that's that just can't be i mean seven and a half by three and the reality was it did not have a uh, a bill pocket so a cash pocket where you can put cash in it had a money clip so it was more of a money clip card holder a folding money clip card holder than an actual bifold wallet so this is an actual bifold wallet and my template that i have and the normal size that i make wallets is nine and a half by three and a half and because he wanted this smaller and thinner that's why i had to split the leather on the on the uh, shell cordovan and make the wallet smaller in the final end of the product, it came out to eight and a half by three and a quarter, so much smaller than standard size. And and he wears suits, he says, just about every day for his work, and that way he can put it and slip it in a suit jacket pocket and uh, just fit really nice and easy and nice and thin. And you know, he said he doesn't carry a lot of cash. I get it. I don't either, especially going on vacation. I I bring some cash for emergencies, but. Uh, not a lot and so here you can see i'm gluing the pockets in i had already sewn in 
the two other pockets there you can see the stitching on the very bottom and then that way the cards are staggered when they go into the card slots on each card slot of the wallet so another announcement i had to make and uh, most of you know my favorite youtube watch channel is the timeless watch channel ocean o'malley's the timeless watch channel and he and i have gotten to be you know buddies through emailing each other back and forth i've never met the man of course he's in italy i'm here in florida and um, i had reached out to him when i was really starting out and had a question and he responded and from then on he's just always kind of been there for me as a newer youtuber he's he's only been out a little bit longer than I have, but you know he's uh, he's really good with computers and stuff like that. I mean, I'm I'm okay. You got to be pretty decent to have a YouTube channel, you know, and do all this editing and all this other stuff. But um, he's always just been there for me, and I always appreciated him and love his. I'm just a fan. I mean, I'm just a fan. Love his show, and I had made him a, a strap for his Omega Speedmaster and shipped it out. It had been delivered, but he had never gotten it. And I was just, oh man, so upset about it. I ended up making two new ones for him, a black and a brown. He had, he had told me, I said, you can make it out of anything you want. I'll make it anything you want. And he said, alligator, he wanted it nice and thick. And he highlighted that original one on his show and called it The Beast. He did a little write-up and, and put it in a playlist on his channel. And it would just, I mean, it, it, I had like 1,600 views in two days, which is way more than I normally get because I'm still so new and small and growing, you know. So anyways, he, uh, he never got it, and I, I was just really upset. So I, I mailed him, and next day aired it, really. He got it in just a couple days. Two new straps of black and a brown and a coffee mug I sent as well. And he was very appreciative of that. He even said that he thought that the brown one looked better than the black, and the black was the one he really wanted. But uh, last week, he emails me, you know, and he says, you're never going to believe this. The landlord that he had... Because he had recently moved to Venice from Vicenza. And uh, so the landlord that he had, apparently in Vicenza, had the, the watch strap the whole time. The original one I had mailed him. And he got it. So really excited. That he had Now he has three of my straps, you know, which is great. And I said, you know, I emailed him back. Just do whatever you want with them. You can put them on watches. I don't care what you do with them. They are yours. I even put a little uh, O squared because it's Ocean O'Malley double O. And uh, so that's that's uh, embossed into the, the, the lining side for him. But you can see here I'm cutting out the final size of, of the product of the wallet down to that eight and a half by three and a quarter size. And so you have to be really straight and really accurate. And now I'm getting ready to use my pricking iron to do the perimeter. I had already etched the outer and I'm making sure that I'm lining up with the pockets so that I don't tear through one of the top sides. Otherwise, um, it's not going to last that long. You want it to hold really nice and secure. And you want those holes staggered to go so a stitch will cover one of those slots completely and hold it in place. And now you can see I'm getting ready to do all of the stats. This is one long piece of thread to, to saddle stitch the whole perimeter of the wallet. So you can see right here I'm really pulling a lot of thread through. And again that's a colonial tan tiger thread. I used a .08 on the inside components, and this is a 1.0 Tiger Thread Colonial Tan on the outside. So it's the same thread, just two different thicknesses. The stuff inside the wallet's a little bit thinner than the outside. And this is me getting ready to finish the whole pass all the way around. I had edited some of that out but you can see what I'm doing right here is the back stitching so this is what we always do this is how 
uh, hand saddle stitching is held in place. You don't really have to tie it into a knot or anything. You just back stitch a two to three, sometimes even four. It just depends on, you know, what you're really holding together. And there it is, right there. I mean, that's that's basically the wallet is totally complete except for all of the edging process. And I had shot Clay last night when I was at that point. I had shot him a video, and he's like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so impatient. I want it now." <laughs> It was pretty funny, so I'm now doing the edge paint system, my new system that I'm utilizing, and so I had done that twice, let it dry, after even putting a base coat down, and then burnishing, and here we are, final product. I took it outside to be able to, you know, get some sun on it and, and for some better lighting, but, you know, here I am just trying to hold it in my backyard, so it didn't turn out the greatest footage, but there you can see it. It is gorgeous. And he was being really particular, too, about the type of uh, patterns of, of the scales of the alligator. And I'm like, dude, we only got what I got to work with. So there it is. Now I'm inside. And those cards up there, red, white, and blue, 4th of July, right? So those cards, is I always just make sure... The spacing is right going into each of the card slots, you know, one, two, three up. And you want them all spaced out evenly the same and make sure that, that they can go in and out very easily. So there's the red, white, and blue on the left. And then you'll see red, white, and blue on the right. Pretty cool. Fourth of July weekend. So... Like I was saying earlier, I mean, this is like a one year since the conception right about now that I came up with the vision of Strap Watch. So, and we typically take two vacations a year. Uh, last year, we weren't able to take a winter vacation. We usually take a cruise between Christmas and New Year's. New Year's Eve is my birthday. We just weren't able to do it. So we haven't had a week off since the Scandinavian cruise last year. So that's why we're just getting away, going to the Outer Banks. You know, travel's still pretty restricted around here. So listen, you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. God bless you. And until next time, keep on ticking.